Hello my shinies, my name is Sewanika47 and welcome back to some more Gloomhaven. So, uh, right now, as uh, you can see I am in the middle of farming. I'm almost done. So what I'm doing here is basically, this is the Necromancer Sanctum level again. This is where we fought Jack Sarah, the boss. So apparently, since Jack Sarah is over here, the treasure chest is here, and when we, when I picked it up, basically we got this, the skull bean axe, which is exactly what the scoundrel needed for her implement of light personal goal. And as you can see here, it says four out of seven, but this is, this is not the case. Uh, I actually killed a lot more skeletons than this. And we, this is basically 6 out of 7. And basically I only need to kill one more skeleton in order to complete her personal goal. And that is exactly what I'm about to do right now. So yeah, the skull bane acts basically. You are able to do something like this for example. Right, as you can read over here, Skull Bean Axe. During your melee attack targeting a living corpse, living spirit, or living bones, add plus 5 to the attack. That becomes a whopping 12 damage. And there has been a couple of things that happen off screen as well, which I will tell you after this. Basically, she got to level 8 and unlocked 2 cards, and this is one of them. Heal 8 self or move 3 and kill one adjacent enemy whose current hit points value is equal or less than 3 which is insane so basically if there's a living spirit with 3 hp at full hp with like 5 health you can she can just immediately kill them that is insane also as you can see here see here burning oil i added the disarm enchantment which actually costs 200 gold but there's a specific scenario in which she can just grab all the coins in one go and she gets like 40 gold so it's a bit easy for me to farm it doesn't take too long yes and as and sawbones managed to get to level 9 and he unlocked this card prep for surgery which is also insanely good move three and stun that is incredible the other option I will show you right after this. Skip and skip. Done. And now we are just going to abandon the quest. And that is basically how you can farm in Gloomhaven. You can also farm in the actual board game, so yes. Ta-da! Announce retirement. It's worse than you thought, even with the axe. The undead scourge has simply grown too strong. There is nothing else you can do from here. Because this disease runs deeper than one city. After thanking your fellow mercenaries, you leave Gloomhaven to hunt down the true source of this dark necromancy. You only hope another, another will fight for light in the city, as you bring it into the darkness beyond. Ta -da. And now we retired our second scoundrel. And we got this cool stuff. We unlocked a new scenario and circuit, circlet of elements design. Windswept Highlands. Alright. Okay, so let's actually rehire the scoundrel. She's just too good. <laughs> I'm not exactly. I should have thought about this. <laughs> uh, what's a good name for a new badass lady? Rev? Re? Huh. Let's 
do this thing. Beatrice. Yeah, Beatrice. Ooh. This is a class I've never tried before. The triangle class. <sighs> I'm not exactly a fan. Foggy ticket. Complete one base game quest in each following. Misty Star Watcher Mountains. Okay. Hmm. Fine. Let's take it. Now, you know what? I'm actually curious what happens if I actually delete the character. Alright, so before we retire. So, this uh, we are at Gloomhaven Well 5 at the moment. So she starts out already with 90 gold. And she's not level 1. Uh, I assume we get to level 4 or 5 immediately. Okay, so... You know what? I'm gonna do it for science. I'm curious, what happens if I delete the character? Let's try it. Okay, so I deleted the character. Let's rehire her back. Beatrice. Oh cool, we actually got something new. Dampening ring. Experience your party members becoming exhausted 15 times. <laughs> this means I'm going to have to farm off screen yet again. Because you know, not only that getting exhausted is a bit difficult and it's going to take too long, so I'd rather just farm. Just let my teammates die 15 times. Yeah, I guess I can do that. Kill 8 force imps. Huh, this is the same thing. Oh, the steel ring is actually an excellent, excellent item to have. It basically blocks 5 damage, one time use, or something like that. Objective 1 out of 3. Dampening ring. Now, I'm not sure what this does. But you know what? I'm just gonna take this. And yeah. By the next episode, Beatrice is going to be... <laughs> Retired again because I'll be farming off screen again, but you know what? I'm not uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that later So first of all, I'm just going to Show you his cards Now at level 9 he unlocks prep for surgery and Grizzly trauma look at this kill all normal or elite enemies in the target area suffering from 10 or more damage Wow so basically, if you damage them 10 or more times, just use this and they immediately die. And then bottom, move to Poison Wound Muddle. This is extremely good. Like, this is basically an upgraded uh, syringe. Like, the idea of this is basically you can combo this card with Euthanize. So you walk two tiles, Poison Wound Muddle, targeting all adjacent enemies. That's not insane enough. You just move, do these debuffs, three debuffs, and then you immediately euthanize. Just kill the enemy. This is insane. But I decided to take prep for surgery instead because stun is incredibly good. Although some bosses are not affected by stun, but it doesn't matter. Stunning enemies, like for example, cultists, before they can before they can summon, or get this, move three, stun an ooze before it multiplies. This is incredibly good. I mean, I suppose euthanize plus grizzly trauma is in theory better, but on the event that the enemy is an elite, not only you cannot kill them, but instead I can just stun them, you know? So, this is why I took this card instead. So, before we decide on Beatrice's cards, I'll, let me show you what we unlock. So basically, we unlock this just now. During your turn, create any element. Wow! Now, I may actually need this for my favorite character, but we shall see. Because I believe my favorite character would need this a lot more. So yeah, uh, we unlock that from her personal goal. 
And then we unlock this, Heavy Bassinet. You are now immune to stun and muddle. It's good for tanks like him. Well, I guess he's a, a, a semi-tank. He can fulfill the tank role if I want. But again, the empowering talisman to bring back stamina is just too good for me, personally. And if I have to choose between Heavy Bassinet or the Iron Helmet, I actually prefer the Iron Helmet because not only that is cheaper, but it also blocks any critical hits. But you know, again, it's like situational. Okay, so the second item I unlock is this one, Robes of Evocation. So right off the bat, you can see it combos with the Circle of Elements. You create any element and then during your turn, just consume any element and get plus one for the entire attack. This is good for DPS, but again, DPS glass cannons like Scoundrel needs Cloak of Invisibility at all times. It's just too good to pass up. So this, not really that good. And then we unlock uh, this one, Hook Chain. Not so good, but I suppose if you're using yeah depends on how you play this game maybe you do range attacks a lot and you just want to pull them closer to you like for example just for example the swift bow like for example you on your turn you're doing something like i don't know tricksters reveal or smoke bomb no no uh let's say you're doing you know this special mixture and then swift bow so you shot the enemy, pull them closer next to Mind Thief, and then the Mind Thief stabs them, and you do other things. Yeah, maybe, maybe it fits your playstyle, but it's not my playstyle. Hook Chain is not for me. And then we unlock the Boots of Dashing. Now this is an excellent, excellent item, which is a direct upgrade to the Boots of Striding, which only gives you plus two movement, right? but it is way more expensive it cost 30 40 actually this cost 20 this cost 40 it's like yeah double it's twice as more expensive and then we unlocked major power potion as well as the ring of haste now this situationally good just for uh, you know one time use and you can immediately use one of your hand to immediately perform bottom action of the card yeah i mean it has its uses but yeah i i don't i just don't use it basically so yeah okay so that's everything i wanted to show you so all right and actually did enchant the, the the bow the the burning oil now what I want to know is ah open wound and flintlock okay so here's the thing remember that I upgraded my open wound card now sadly in in the board game version if you upgrade your cards like open wound like you give plus one attack on it right it carries over supposedly but apparently uh, the video game version removed it so now I'm starting from scratch again this is annoying to be honest but uh, what can you do I I'm disappointed but at the same time uh, hidden daggers Duelist advance is really bad. I really need the move three attack three, but invisible self is too good. Yeah, see, hidden daggers, the ah, and smoke bomb. Ah, the enchantment is gone. Ah, I'm so sad. Flurry of blades, of course, I need that. Yep, we can still level up some more. All the weak. Nope. Visage of the inevitable. Of course. 
So yeah, now that we are at Gloomhaven Wealth 5, we immediately start at level 5 with 90 gold. And we get 6 available perks, which is amazing. This one. Invisible card is good, but it's so wonky. It's actually very annoying. Consistency, consistency, dust. Dust. I can't wait to get these. So let's pick her cards. Single out. Backstab, thief's neck, throwing knives, quick hands. I may actually take this. Because it combos with hidden matters. Visage, Flurial Blades, Swift Bow, Open Wound. Single out, place with Open Wound. Quick Hands, Venom, Shiv. Exchange it with Swift Bow. Ah, this again. Okay. So let's buy her Cloak of Invisibility as always. Legs, we need. The, the wing shoes. Small item, of course. Major he uh, major stamina potion. Minor and major. It is a must. Major stamina potion. Minor stamina potion. Now, I may not want healing potion, even though it's good. What she does need is eagle eye goggles, of course. Yes, that is insanely important. Okay, so yeah, right off the bat, she got all the items I need. Piercing bow, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I will take the uh, the piercing bow again, eventually when I have enough money. Or you know, when I when I retire her again <laughs> in the next episode. Uh, yeah, so basically I will farm her again, her uh, personal goal. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so yeah, last time I bless, we got another prosperity. So bless. Let's do a city encounter before we begin. Agree to help with the right infestation. Two gold each. Be good. Okay, after that. Ah, I'm still so salty. I was so happy too. Like uh our burning oil or whatever the card's called. It, it's basically swift bow with wound, and then I actually add I added the uh, the disarm enchantment, which is insane. So not only that the enemy is wounded, but it's also disarmed. And now all of the enchantments are gone. Ugh, this sucks, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, mountain pass. Here it is. We actually need to do this one in order to unlock one of the uh, the lingering swamp scenario and i kind of forgot that we need to do this so yeah let's just do this one but first let me just check my cards again real quick okay and yes you know what hmm, i may not even use the salt ones again but yeah basically if i if i did uh want to make another saw bones character i might actually just take this one and i will take Research the cure. Ooh. Give all adjacent allies medical pack. What? Prescription. How did I miss this one? <laughs> or maybe it's because it's like do no harm or something. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I've been rambling too long. So, mountain pass scenario. Let's go. Yep, let's go. There is a certain shaking of heads that happens along with the mention of dragons. As if the person saying it can't even believe the words coming out of their mouth. Dragons don't exist, they say. But some giant winged beast has been sighted to the north. So you set off to see if maybe they do. 
So yeah, the city encounters I got is the same. It's the guards needing help with either guarding or getting lumber from the wood. So obviously I took the lumber, which gives me plus one prosperity twice because I got it twice. And that's how I actually managed to get Gloomhaven wealth level up. So encounter, heading out a little to, heading out a little late, aren't you? The guard at the wall looks at you presently. You grunt in response and head through the open gate. Ugh. Nobody's gonna go looking for your corpse if you don't return. The guard shouts at you back. Shouts at you back. You end up embarking out on the road much later than you had hoped. The events in town saw to that, but as the dusk settles on the horizon, you feel confident that you are up to any threat you might face. And then begins the howling of wolves, vicious, foul beasts, and judging from their sounds, they seem to be getting closer. Run from the howling to safety, let the wolves go. Run? You have been poisoned. Oh, it's this one. Okay. I just don't want to be wounded if I let the wolf, wolves go. Your goal is the ice crag, the tallest mountain in the Copernex. I'm gonna skip this, I'm sorry. To get there though, you'll need to head through the Northern Pass, a narrow corridor that is known for frequent avalanches and other dangers. You tread carefully. Three. Watching high above you for any signs of an ambush. Okay, loot five or more. Have one or more monsters present. Oh, this one's annoying. This one. Never allow current hit point to drop below half. Take only long rest. That one. None of your allies to become exhausted. Yup. I actually don't need to do any more battle goals, to be honest. But yeah, whatever. Okay, let's do it. So remember, next next episode, Beatrice will be will be retired because I will be farming. This So what I'm planning to do is, oh wait, scoundrel needs to be in the middle. Oh, her pull is back to <sighs> pull to her. Okay, so not a problem. Smoke bomb, visage this one. So pull, kill. Meanwhile. For surgery, go here, stun, and then try it. She is going to pull here, stab, kill. Meanwhile, he, she is going to. Is this obstacle? Yes. She is going to. to do this one, minesweepers, always. So, I guess, hmm. On the rare occasions, I'm actually doing this beast. So, stun, pull, kill. Uh, I'm not sure what these guys are gonna do. Probably gonna move and shoot. So, she's going to move here and then attack. 
let's see if this works. Move two, attack four, reach. It's going to be painful, but I think it's okay. I may actually want to pull this one as well because it's blocking the way. my minor healing potion. This is why healing potions are good. Okay, so he's moving there. Skip and stun. Then uh, that's it for now. Earth Demon is get is stunned. Shoot. But I have armor and shield, so I take one damage, and now it's attacking with disadvantage. Yes, times two and one. There we go. This one cannot hit too far away. Good. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, now, oh man, I can't pull it. Good so far. She is going to do open flanking strike. It's poison. Okay. Flanking strike and smoke bomb. That means she can go first. I'll probably attack with advantage as well. And then while well, there's no more obstacle here, I can stun and scurry. Stun something scurry. He can do bedside manner to her. Actually, no, not yet. This one. Med pack. doing a ranged attack, most likely towards Scoundrel with this advantage. Yep, this is fine. Now, I'm not sure who to stun actually. Huh, they're not moving actually, so I don't need to stun. This one need, needs stunning. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Muddle, nice. Times two, nice. Okay, so it's dead. Here. Skip now. I'm not sure who to hit, so let's just say I'm hitting this one. So, 2 damage, right? Because of poison, 3. So, possible of 3 or more damage. And then, since they're attacking with this advantage, uh, the easiest way to describe this is that she takes less than 3 damage. So, let's say... Oh, I have triage. 
Okay, good. Um, in that case, going here. Skip movement. Give med pack to her. And then I'm going to triage her. Be moving the poison. And then that's actually wrong. <laughs> I should have triage myself, and then heal. But uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We have plenty of ways to heal. We have do no harm and stuff. Uh, do I want to heal? Nah. I'll save it. Okay, attack with disadvantage, but still gets a plus one. Attacking normally gets a minus one. Disadvantage, so two damage. Then attacks him times two now now this one is attacking her own. no actually both of us range three okay this is fine now then revenge brain leech corrupting embrace meanwhile she can I need a move five one two three four oh actually four is enough Open wound and flare of blades. Ah, she's still faster than Vivi. Uh, in that case, swift bow. Can I move with advantage? No. Swift bow and uh, this is wrong. Hmm. Uh, Flurry of Blades and Swift Bow, I guess. Uh, okay. What is he doing? He can do Prevention is key. After she probably kills him. And then. Ah, do no harm. Good. Yes, I like this. Okay. This is excelente. I can shoot him from here. Do I want the gold? No, I don't want the gold. You know why? Because she is gonna get retired after this. So she doesn't really need money. I guess money is still good because she can still bless. Bless the tree before she go. But then again, I'll be doing scenarios over and over again. She can do that later. Uh, for now, I'm doing this to myself. We'll be moving here. Then healing myself. And then disarm. Easy. Easy. Then in. Then attack. Uh, and up. Uh. Ooh. There. Nice. Then confirm. We bless as well. Then, uh, then uh, uh. Are you gonna die in one hit? Yes, you are. Let's get that. Then and Enox Archer can go anywhere. Well, not can go anywhere. Uh, he's just the, uh, the AI just decided not to move because there's already a target right next to him, so he's not gonna do anything. Cranium overload just because I can. And then this one. Uh, this one, open wound. And special mixture, yep. This one, and. Amputate is good. Wait! Syringe and euthanize. Ah ha I have euthanized golems, I have euthanized skeletons, and now I am euthanizing an inox. Mm -ha, ha ha Let's get moving. Confirm. She, she she can just take the coal, I suppose. Invisible. Then I don't even need to attack. But I'm just gonna attack. No. Wait, hold on. Her attack modifier. There's still a lot of good ones, including bless. Yeah, exactly. So here's the thing. I don't want to risk pulling. A bless card early or any of these good ones so 
I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna skip. Then, meanwhile for her. Now I do want to move there, right? But you know what? Nah. I just want to go. Skip. And then skip. And then skip, skip. And end. Now then. Time for the euthanizing to begin. So, oh, you know what? Because this thing is actually slower than sawbones, that's why I decided to euthanize it. Had it like move before sawbones, I might actually just let her hit and let her come here and hit or something. And you know, and not euthanize. But yeah, we, we adapt basically. We adapt based on what the enemy wants to do. Now, I may just want to long rest over here. I'm not too sure. Ooh, bad side mana. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna do something like this. Uh, loot. And this one. Dark Frenzy and Mad Pack. Quick hands and this one. Yep. That's mine. Yep. Okay. So this is what's going to happen. Uh, the gold. Who can take the gold? She might get retired soon. Okay, you know what? He kind of needs the gold more so that he can bless the tree. Okay, so I'm giving her this card so that she can bring back both this and scurry so that she can long rest after she opens the door i'm going to do this i'm going to skip skip and and he is going to long rest over there next turn now then she can move here in preparation to open the door and then she is going to skip back then heal herself. Good. Scoundrel is going to move twice. She can invisible, but nah. Just gonna let her. Just gonna let her uh, long rest over there. Oh. Next to Sawbones. Now let's do move. Two loot, one invisible. Let's see. With the pass blocked by the avalanche, you enter the cave to face your aggressors. Inside, you see a network of passages leading deep into the mountain. Perhaps they would be worth exploring once your foes are dead. Now, I like what I'm seeing. So, Enoch's guards are annoying, right? They have an innate ability to retaliate. They, they hurt, they can poison, but the thing is, uh, if you've watched my videos in the past, they're not that threatened. They can strengthen, they just shield themselves, strengthen, retaliate, basically wasting their turn. Which means, oh, and one more thing, all of them, well, except her, except that thing. A lot of the enemies here right now are not elites, which is a good thing. That's all I need to know. They are not elites, so that, you know, he can euthanize and she can visage. Oh my gosh! Pull! Oh dear, disarm. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What the heck? Yikes. Oh, what? Bro. I may need the cranium. <laughs> I actually need the cranium. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Oh my gosh. See? Look, uh, this is what Haven is capable of. In the sense that, on one hand, you might be winning. And then, in the span of one turn, 
this craziness can just happen yeah all this craziness happened in the span of one turn it's crazy but this is the game uh oh my god everything is good amputate okay amputate can go yeah i might not take amputate again uh flurry blades good flanking strength good open wound smoke bomb special mixture can go swift bow swift bow can it's fine okay so at least both of them are next to him so that means I can euthanize something but oh my gosh I can't cranium because I need to short rest otherwise and I need all my stuff back should I This is the perfect opportunity to cream. Loot five or more gold tiles. Take only longer. So I don't care about her. Battle go. Allow none of your allies. Oi, oi, oi. Uh. Shot burst. The thing is, if I burn. If I burn Corrupting Embrace, it's going to be annoying. It's very annoying. Attacks apply this arm. Oh no. Short rest or not. You know what? I got it. I have Moon Ring. Moon Earring. So you're not fine. Short rest. Brain Leech. Okay. Not too terrible. It's a good card, but it's fine. Cranium overload and into the night is important. Why is she still invisible? Oh, because I didn't long rest. I only short rest. Okay, good. Into the night and cranium. Okay. Then he is going to. This one, this this guy might not die. Prevention is key. This one, okay. Prefer surgery. Actually took out Swiftbow. Uh, now I I don't have access to long range attacks. Open wound. Special mixture. One two three four five. Hmm. Open wound. Flanking strike. Like this. Everything is slow. Good. I'm going to re visible myself. Just going to cranium because this is getting crazy. <gasps> Let me use my moon earring first. Oh, nice. <laughs> late for this but okay. 
already disarmed. In that case, I'm just going to try and kill something. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind. Clear target. Until yeah, everything is stunned in this arm. Uh, fine, I'll move back. Skip. Give her the medkit. Skip. Uh, and then end. She, meanwhile, is going to do this. Nice. She's going to attack with advantage to this one. Nice. Disarm. Move three, attack three. Hmm. Do I want to invisible? I think I do. I cannot risk her getting disarmed by this thing. And getting attacked by him. So, yeah. I'm just going to do that. So far, so good. It's gonna attack him again. Ooh, that's two. Thanks. Okay. This arm. It's fine. I can heal next turn instead. It's gonna move somewhere. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Burger's edge. Dark Frenzy. Perverse Edge makes sense to stun and then attack this. Next turn she can do Dark Frenzy and something. I think we can ignore this one for now. She's going to try and kill this one. Flurry of Blades. Oh, I can't any flanking strike or open wood. No, actually, he can do ah, this arm. Flurry of blades. Yes, this one. Move, poison, and then attack with advantage. Yes, good. Uh, meanwhile, he can do that side. I have boots. Okay, good. Curative mixture. This one. Wow, what is this? Okay. Consume wind to do that. Okay. Uh, here, right. Skip. Oh, that was wrong. I wanted to poison. But I'm attacking with advantage. Oh, that's wrong. Oh well, my mistake. Doesn't matter. Attack four, attack. Move two, attack four. It's gonna be attacking her. Okay. Going here. Skip. Then do this. Bringing back flankage. No, open wound and special mixture. For the added damage. And then she, he is going to heal her. Why her and not me? Well, because of strength and that's why. And nothing is going to hit Sawbones, so I'm not scared. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything is going to be a-okay. That's fine. Two, yeah, easy. Oh, I have visage. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just gonna kill this one first uh, because I have my advantage. And 
werden und hidden dagger hidden dagger one two three four five six seven okay so I guess I can heal myself instead no uh I got a better idea Get this. Dark Frenzy and Scurry. Okay. That means I need yeah, this is perfect. Smoke bomb. So here's 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 what I'm planning. She is going to move here. Yes. With because she moves first. And then she is gonna pull him here. Visage. This one is definitely going to die from syringe and euthanize. I mean just by syringe alone. Or euthanize alone. This thing is gonna die. But let's see. Right? Let's see. Let us see. Attack 3, strengthen. Yeah, easy. Ah, here. Watch this. Watch this. Skip. Attack. He's dead. Easy. Then. Yeah. Undo. Uh, just skip. Skip. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Then we're all going to make our way there. These traps are annoying, but it's okay. A lot of us have a lot of HP and we have a lot of heals because we have a healer. So then he can just move here and take the good one. Let's get attacked and I guess she can step on it. One, two, three, four, five. And then heal. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Then he can also heal. Yeah, let's go. We out. Now as you can see here, remember that the uh, the Inox Guard starts here. S uh, the Brute, you know, the, the Brute class can do something like one, two, and then attack, push woo, into the trap. It's, you know, it, it, this game has variety. Like, no one, there's no one build that trumps everything, every other builds. It's just, Basically, the way you play is what makes you, you know, what makes you win. You winning or losing depends on your choices. if she wants to take it because she's going to I'm gonna retire her soon which means which means I'm going to do this and I'm going to do not that I'm gonna do this Invis invisible self just because of uh, no I don't know if I want dark frenzy anymore Oh, vicious blood. Um, vicious blood. Okay. He's healing, and I'm gonna take away. Disarm. Yep. Okay. Now he can do something like cure, make sure, and do no harm to self. She can long rest. She can do dark friends. Huh. Maybe into 
the night is coming. One, two, no. Not invisible. Oh, it's okay. Wow, I could have stunned this thing. Yeah, this is dangerous. Muddle. Ah, if only I knew what's in here. At least the funny thing here is that wind demon and earth demons are opposites, polar opposites. So they might uh, kill each other in a sense. Chain Hood. If I remember correctly, that's it's it's a good item. Okay, so heal. Well, quick hands is good. Visage is still in use. Flanking strike. I'm gonna burn that one. Okay, this is definitely definitely doable. Smoke bomb. I'm gonna do this. Uh, depending on what they're doing, I may just stay here because this thing is definitely gonna be trying. It can fly, and VV is basically a wall, an obstacle. So this might go here, 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 and then shoots him. So and then she can visit or something. Meanwhile, she is going to either stun or into the. She can purposefully go very slow in this one. This and this. Okay, and then he is going to... This. And... Hmm. I definitely need to use my stamina potion next time. This one... This one and ah, everything's so bad. Ah, fine, syringe. Yeah, syringe. Let's see what they're doing. Attack three, pull this arm. Good, they're slow. Okay, good. Oh, gosh. I hope I made the right decision to stay here. So I could just stay here and not get hit, but let's see. Okay, drinking this, getting back, curated, make sure you do no harm in preparation to kill probably this one or something. Use that. Get your stamina potion goes back. Kill all enemies in all rooms. Ah, this is easy. So, boom. Ooh. 
move four, attack three, range four. One, two, three, four. It's gonna attack you here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, range three. This one's gonna move here and then attack. This one is gonna move here and attack. Okay, so maybe if I move here. question is, do I want to move or not? Maybe not. Uh, skip. I'm going, I'm going to... I can't even reach here anyways. Uh, I'm going to try move here. I'm gonna try it. Skip the ability. Is he gonna move here? Is he gonna move here? Yes, he is. Huh. And, oh. There we go. Good. This is exactly what I want. Perfect. Hmm, do I want to kill? I can do no harm in this thing. But first, I need to curative. Or he can do no harm this one. So, you know what? Sure. I'm going to do this to this. Disarm. Yes. I guess I can just do this one. I'm not gonna risk it. Skip the confirm. So now she is. Let's rotate the camera over here. I'm going to consume that. Get back both this one and this one because both are incredibly good. And she's blocking the way, you see. And I'm doing that on purpose. Okay, so since he can, he's disarmed. Can do this if I want, but let's see. Flurry of blades, yeah. Flurry of blades, open wound to kill this one. That thing is dead. He can do this, then this. Yeah, okay. This one, this one. Very easy. Yes, good. They're slower. Means I can go here. Nah. I'm gonna go here. Let's get one in front. Attack advantage. Double damage. Good. And yes, game. I know I'm this one. I don't need that. She's going to do this. -ish. Maybe. I don't know. Mm, euthanize. Do no harm. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna drink one. I'm gonna bring back syringe. Yeah, for now. Both of them are not going to move because she's blocking the way. And I will continue blocking the way. Because I don't want my friends to get hit. Gonna loot. Going to go invisible again. We're going to slowly chip this golem's health. Even though it's gonna die next time. Look how much damage she can dish out. It's incredible. It's actually incredible. Perverse edge. And I can still stun. <laughs> He's so good. She 
can even tank a hit or two. He is going to be doing no harm. Do no harm is actually not a good thing to do here. Prep for surgery, do no harm. Oh, this is good. Uh, is it a open wound? No. Ooh, quick hands and ooh, quick hands and move and eh, 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 eh. Yes, let's do that. Okay, easy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Uh, I don't need to stun. I, I want to stun that one actually. Fine. Yeah, good. And I'm just gonna attack just because I can. Plus one. Plus two. It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, so. Hey, I can actually win now. Look. Ta da! <laughs> do I want to win now? I, I guess I should. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, no. Let's let's give it one more, just one more turn. Just one more turn. Let's attack it with this. Yeah. Minus zero. Lol. Okay, and then drink. Bring back. Do no harm. And something like this one. Okay. Exp. You know. Ito. And then. It, uh. Uh. Yes! Uh, just because I can. Actually, I should not have done that. It takes too long. Well, okay, so move here. Then stabo. Bam! Ooh, times two. Nice! And I can drink if I want. Sure, I'll drink. Flurry blood. Flurry blood. Quick hands. And, uh, uh. Visage, and then, yeah. Then loot. But I don't need to loot. He doesn't need money. I guess she does. I can just keep blessing the tree or something. Short rest. Short rest. Oh my gosh. Redraw. Okay. Yes. Then. Uh. Then. Uh. Uh. And then. Uh. Then. Uh. There we go. Easy. And then. Look. I can. I can still attack. Do I want to attack? <laughs> sure, just do it. Time zero. Oh, okay, good. It's good actually because I, uh, I removed an annoying card. I mean, an annoying attack modifier result. Uh, should I do this? Should I do that? Okay. I'm curious about one thing. Oh wait, I'm mobilized. Well, that's the thing. I'm curious if I can still give her med 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 kit. Med pack. Let, let's see. Skip movement? Yeah, I can. Good. Give her the, the med pack. She can do loot. No loot. Oh, okay. Okay. She takes the gold. And then that's it. Victory. V for victory. Yes. <laughs> what were Inox and demons doing together? And so far north? You rifle through their belongings, looking for some indication of their motivation. All you find is some crude scratchings referencing a voice. You glance toward the cave. There may be some clues farther down the tunnels. To the north, Icecrag Peak looms large in the distance. Still, you feel something calling you to explore the cave. Not audibly, but there is a subtle and powerful urge. You look down at the Inox's scribblings. A voice. Yes, somehow that sounds familiar. You can almost hear it yourself. Cool. I did it. I did it. I did it. We did it. You and me. My shinies, we did it. Yep, yep. Let's do a city encounter before I end this video. 
12 EXP. Yes. Echo chamber. Ice crack ascent. Okay, echo chamber. That's exactly what we need. Really? Echo chamber. Oh, yes. Uh, immobilize wound. Immobilize wound. Immobilize wound. Wound is good, but a lot of my attacks already have wound, so. Hobble. Okay, we don't actually need to go to the Gloom Haven. I mean, we do. Because, yeah, we do. Echo Chamber. We do need to do this one. But. But later. Fine, let's just go back to Gloom Haven. Yep, yes, sir. Oh yeah, we unlock something. Chain hood. While you are adjacent to three or more monsters, gain shield plus one. Woo! Wow. That's actually cool. Huh. I think the ignore scenario effect actually works for equipment. I don't think so. Anyway. So let's just bless Scoundrel. And let's bless the Mind Thief as well. Bless everybody, actually. Prosperity. Hey, nice. Yeah, that's one way to farm prosperity. You are walking along the river's edge. Oh, I knew this one. In the mixed district late at night, when something in your pack begins to vibrate. The sensation is odd, and you quickly fish out the small metal sphere you found out on the road. It shakes uncontrollably, and then begins pulling your arm toward the liver. R liver toward the river you walk to the bank but still the sphere pulls it is drawn to something in the water to the river and continue follow yeah i remember this we're so yeah i think we're supposed to follow uh wait let me try if i can save scum that i i remember i think we're supposed to let the sphere sphere go i mean we're supposed to get something good from that thing. Uh, I'm safe scumming, I don't care. We, we need to know what it does. Yeah, let the sphere go. Okay, the sphere leaps from your hand, hovers of, of, over the water. I remember this outcome. And then emits an intense beam of light straight down into the river, illuminating something below. You shrug. And jump into the river. Huge push. Following the beam of light down to the bottom. There you find a wooden chest half buried. Half buried. I like to say buried instead of buried. Buried under the rocks. You bring it back to shore. And open it to find a small metal rod covered in strange carvings. Yes, the metal rod. I remember this. When you pick it up, the sphere immediately flies back over to you. And attaches itself to the rod's end. Yeah, so it's like we got It's not that we got an item It's more like a quest item or something So yeah, we did not get the new equipment This is hers okay, Nothing, 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 okay We bless everything, okay, good Everything is on order, good So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to be doing a random scenario This is what I like to do I'm going to purposefully make this into deadly and then and then i'll just do a difficult scenario you know what? uh i like this place lost island uh, i like this place to loot gold and it's actually a pretty difficult scenario so you know since everything kind of deals a whole lot of damage and even the bear look at it it has 22 HP <laughs> because level 7 yeah so I will be replaying this quest you know off screen there are many so yeah and that will be all this episode so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed that in the next episode I will be the sea void retiring Stop. Beatrice and we will be getting a new scoundrel and let us see what we are going to get 
from her uh, the battle goals and the new scoundrel that we're going to make. So yeah, take care, my shinies. I have a good night. Bye bye.